What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Minecrafting with Ultra. I am Ultra, blah, blah, blah. We got stuff we got to do. I'm in emergency mode today. We got no time for an intro. The last couple days while I've been over here working on the, the, the axolotl enclosure, I've noticed a pretty considerable spike in lag. Culminated the other day when I came down to the basement to grab some stuff. For those of you who don't know, this is the basement. It's a mess. But this is where all the real kind of Minecraft magic happens. The magic is in the farms, though. The storage, not so much. The storage is an issue. I was just building the other day, minding my business, like I do, and my game crashed. Just out of nowhere, it just crashed. And when I logged back in and started looking around to try and find the culprit of all the lag, I found it. My storage is full on so many of my farms, not just this one. And first of all, we have enough wheat and potatoes. We're gonna change this. We're gonna fix this. But second of all, I don't know if you remember or not, those of you who are here for it, but the, the little bamboo farm that could, remember we thought it couldn't? Well, turns out, it could. It very much could. And it did. It has. So we've got farms down here that keep producing items, which is good until the thing fills up. And then the items just build up and it makes lag and it makes Ultra's world crash. So today we have to save the world. And you know what that means. Basement update. And starting with this one here, I do believe that this is one of our biggest lag spike culprits here. This is my villager powered kind of crop farm. I thought I was clever. Look, you can see that I wasn't. This guy's supposed to do beetroot over there, but ever since the beginning, he barely does. I think he had some other seeds in his pocket um, because I can't get him to continuously do beetroot. We get wheat, carrots, and potatoes just falling out of our ass, but we can't get beetroot to save our lives. We get like one beetroot for every like 10 of the others, or every like hundred even of the others. Barely get any beetroot. So this farm works, kind of, barely, but it wasn't as big brain as I thought I was. And now we're at a point in the survival world where I just don't think that we need all of this anymore. I do have boxes and boxes and boxes full of them up in the starter house. So I think this is gonna be better served as a bone meal farm. I'm not looking forward to this, but let's see. Let's pull these out and we'll actually, we can just start composting some of you because when I break this chest open, stuff is gonna explode everywhere. I think I will keep the wheat though. I do like the wheat, but other than that, all of this can go. So what we're gonna do, let's see here. Grab my dang couple of these, boom. We can take our little axe, and then if we go boom, boom, and then we'll put boom, boom. Yeah, boy. All right. Now we need to give it some room to breathe. Look at all this junk. Oh my goodness. I even have chests filled up uh, in my trading hall full of like carrots and stuff like that. I just have too many. The one thing that I do worry about with this setup is it is going to back up eventually because there are some things... I don't think are compostable. Like, I don't think you can compost. Can you compost the poisonous potatoes? I don't know. I don't think you can though. But I feel like this is gonna be a much better use of this farm now. This one I've already got set up to do bone meal over here, but I use bone meal for so many of my other farms. I don't ever use carrots and potatoes. I'm gonna turn the wheat into blocks. And then we can store that up here in the kitchen. While we're up here, check this out. See, we got all these. I guess we don't have anything there, but we got carrots, carrots, we got potatoes, potatoes. We have enough. And with that, that clears that out. And this farm, noisy as it is, should be all set for a while. And then if I ever do decide I need the crops, all I got to do is come back in and take these out and replace them and then we'll be good to go. I guess the only thing I might have to do is check it every now and then to make sure it doesn't get plugged up with anything that's not not compostable. Moving on to the next farm. The next guy that I think that needs to be addressed is gonna be this dude right here. And I think the first thing we'll do is we will clear this out. That way we can give my game some room to breathe and let it pick up some of these items that are just sitting there. And then I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna clear out a bigger space, maybe down here. Yeah, I think this will be good. Go ahead and light this up so we don't have to worry about any mobs. And then I think what I want to do down here is put in a shulker loader. And as with all the other redstone in my world and in this series, this is not my design. This comes from a channel called Nbents Games. And you should see a little iCard up above my head here, as well as a link in the description, because we're going to be using this 
couple times in today's episode. I have a couple places where I think this thing could really come in handy. So we're going to go ahead and get that done. Starting with right now, we just come right down this way. Yeah, you'll notice some differences. The big hole in the middle of the floor has now been replaced by a slightly less big hole. I made some pretty bold architectural decisions with this one. I wanted it to match the aesthetic kind of the rest of the basement. So you'll notice I blended the stone kind of smoothly into the dirt down here. And right at this first kind of platform, we got this area where we can check, make sure our overflow, if, if there's bamboo in here, then we have problems. It also gives us access to our, our mine cart area. This is like a, like a little service hatch. And then if we go down these stairs here, beautiful dirt stairs, they take you all the way down to this part of the machine here. And this is where the thing happens. This is what happens. We can't look in here, but if everything's working the way that it's supposed to be working, my bamboo should be going in there. And then once that's full, this thing detects it and it tells this to do the thing and it pushes it and breaks it. And then this picks it up and it goes in here. And I end up with a box that has bamboo full of in it and stuff. I wasn't going to do this actually with this farm originally, cause I kind of thought like, well, most of the bamboo I use, I use it in the black form. And if I've got it all in a shulker box, then I'm going to have to take it out, turn it into a black form, then put it back in a shulker box or do whatever I'm going to do with it. But my big brain kicked in and I decided that for this farm, I can use the bamboo as fuel, extra fuel for my furnaces that I have upstairs because we do have the big bamboo farm deep in the jungle. And that gives us more than enough for what we need for building. This thingy over here, this is where I put shulker boxes in. I've got enough. I think I've got a few. Yeah, we've got like, this is full. And then this has a couple in there. I'm going to have to do some end rating, but we're probably going to do that on a stream project. So that takes care of this farm. We'll go back up this beautiful staircase here. I must say I did a really good job matching the aesthetic of everything else down here. It really blends right in. Kind of feels like it's been here the whole time. Moving on though, we're not done. We still have more basement kind of cleaning up that we need to do. The next farm I want to address, I think is this one. This is the sugarcane farm here. And it's not too bad. I don't know. I say that and that is clear full, but like this side here is not full. This side is not full. This isn't even barely full, but here's what I do with the sugar cane. I'm going to show you. I take a box and I put it down and then I grab sugar cane and I fill the box all the way up. And then once the box is full, we take it on a little bit of a journey all the way out to the creeper farm. And you can see I've already got one here, but then I just kind of leave it here and then I use this with my my gunpowder to make my rockets so i feel like we can save a little bit of time and a little bit of work by setting up another shulker loader at the sugarcane farm and to save even more time i already done went ahead and built the thing and check it out this looks way cleaner way nicer we had all those extra chests that we weren't using anyway this one is above ground i didn't have to bury this one like the bamboo farm one and we also should be just in time i can't check it well not just in time it'll be a little bit but soon we should be able to see if it works and we're gonna test it together. So here we sit and here we wait any second now, surely. Oh, aha. Yes, it is full and we have another. I am a genius. Okay, now that my big brain ego feels like it uh, knows what it's doing, it's time we do a little bit more of a complicated one. This farm here, if you can even call it that, I don't even know if you can call it that, but quite the uh, conglomeration of stuff. And it all goes down here into this tiny little space that you can barely move around in. And then it just kind of fills up amongst all of this. And I think what I would like to do is put in some sorters. That way the stuff that happens automatically, like the, the cactuses, the pumpkins, and the, the melons, I think I would like to sort those out and we'll have those go into shulker loaders. And then the vines and the chorus fruit and the chorus flower and whatever else that just kind of has to happen manually. I think we can just let that flow into like an overflow chest. So let's break this. And we're going to have to dig out a little bit of room down here. Oh, found a little secret. Ah, an OG tunnel. This is one of the early tunnels from when I first spawned into this world and I was exploring for diamonds and stuff like that. That's funny. I forgot this was down here. Oh, well, we need more room. And with that, my friends, I give you the culmination of my redstone prowess created the ultimate thing. And look how unassuming it is. It's the same little hole that it was before. But now if we go down here, we can see that the basement has a basement. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Look at that. All right. So there's a lot to unpack here. Not really. If you know what you're doing, there's not that much to unpack here. If you know what you're looking at, but to me, 
this was a lot to unpack. So let me explain to you what happens. This comes down. This is a little water stream in there from the farms up here. This little water stream right here. It goes down, comes down to here. Then it goes in this and then it comes across. And these are filters set up here to catch this stuff, the melons, uh, the pumpkins. And this one is the cactus. We don't have that many pumpkins. But the extra stuff goes into here. This is my little overflow chest. And where do those go, you might ask? Well, they go down into this little shulker loader thing here. And then when they're ready, it breaks them and it pops them into these little barrels. We don't have any yet, but we will have a cactus one pretty daggum soon. I am out of shulker boxes though. With this, I am out of shulker boxes, officially. We're gonna have to go do some end raiding, I reckon. We're gonna have to do some end raiding probably real soon. That way we can get those shulker loaders shulker loaded. We're not done yet though. We do have one more farm we have to take care of. We have one more chore that I wanna get sorted out before, come on, before the end of the episode. And that is the iron farm, this old boy right here. So we're starting to run into a little bit of an issue. We've got just too much iron. See, all these are full, except these. These are full of shulkers. But we have plenty of room up here where we can do some stuff, I think. Now, I don't want, those poor guys, I don't want shulker loaders for this because I do want to convert it all into blocks before I put it into shulkers. But what I do want is no more poppies. Are these poppies? No, these aren't poppies. But these are all poppies down here, and I have enough poppies. So much like the, the, the crop farm that we did earlier, I think I would rather have the bone meal. So what I want to try and do is squeeze in just one item sorter up here somewhere, maybe right along the side of this. Have that drop down into a composter so we can get bone meal from the poppies. And then we'll send the rest of the iron into just like a massive stack of chests over here. So I can come up every now and then and I can turn the iron into iron blocks. And then I can put those into shulker boxes and then I can take those shulker boxes, maybe back down here, or I can put them in this barrel right here. So that is the next plan. And don't worry, we won't be doing chores for the entire duration of the episode. If you're still here and you've been watching for this long, I think you deserve a little bit of something after this. So once we get this finished up, I think we'll head back over to the cenotes we did last episode and tidy up the top of that cliff. And that is a million times better. I cannot even begin to tell you this is going to save me so much time not having to run back over here. It doesn't look like much. I know it doesn't look like much, but the amount of time that I come over here and clean this thing out and had to take out all the poppies and throw them in the composter. This is just long overdue and I'm very, very excited. So in case you can't tell, here's what happens. The thing, don't look at those, except for those, those don't count. Everything else comes down this way and it comes down through here and my, the poppies, the flowers come down in here into the composter and then they get turned into bone meal of which I currently have none, but soon we will have some. And then the iron goes over this way into this guy right now. Very, very exciting. But I think that's enough chores for one day. I think I've made you guys, you gotta be bored to death by now, aren't you? I've basically been making you watch me clean my house, clean my basement at least. But there is something exciting we could do, something cool that we could kind of take care of just to kind of wrap things up for today, I think. Top of that cliff, yonder this is the cenote we made last episode in case you missed it this thing i love it super super cool and look our little axolotls are still alive but the top of this cliff here is notably barren and i'd like to change that i'd like to take care of that i got something pretty cool planned for that i think Ta-da, everyone. I made a custom cherry tree. Kind of a cute one, too, if I do say so myself. And I do say so myself. What do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty good. Stinky bamboos in the way. I tried to make it look like... So, let's go over here. I wanted it to look like the tree had been growing here for a long, long time. That's why it's so big. And that's why, like, you got the roots kind of exposed here as the ground has kind of eroded and broken away over time. I thought that was a cool little detail. And we got a little bit more of that over here with the roots kind of coming down by the vines there. It's not the biggest, but I didn't want to do it like too super huge. I thought that it would stand out and look kind of funny here actually. But I think that's perfect for up top side of that hill. I think that caps that off nicely. And another thing about the tree, I don't know if you could tell or not from the time lapse, but I used Lightmatica. It's not something I've used very much. This is only actually the second time I think I've ever 
even used it in survival, and it's the first time that I've used it in this world, and I gotta say, it was kind of a pain in my ass. I do think I'll keep practicing with it though, and maybe you'll see more kind of light Matica stuff at some point in time, eventually. But for now, I very clearly have a lot to learn with that. I know what you guys really wanna know though. You're thinking, enough of that tree, Ultra. That's not why we're here. We wanna know how that basement's doing, boy. Oh yeah. Well, let me tell you, dear viewer, I think the basement is doing amazingly. First, let's check this. Let's see if our box has gone off down here. Let's see if we have a box of bamboo yet. We do not. Okay though, that's okay. Let's check some of the other farms. Let's check this one. This was a bad one. This guy was responsible for tons of lag. And look, it's all caught up. We got empty chests. We got stuff passing through our little composters down here, turning into bone meal for us, something that will actually be useful. We got the sugarcane one coming along nicely. And even since the last kind of clip where I spoke to you, we went end raiding and I got a few more shulker boxes, not many, but we'll probably be doing a shulker farm sometime in the nearish future. I think that's gonna be it though. I think I'm gonna get out of here. I do really love that tree. So we light Maticud, the tree. We upgraded some farms. You guys will have to let me know. What do you guys think of light Matica? Do you guys use it? Do you not use it? It really wasn't the funnest thing for me, if I'm honest, but I'm gonna keep practicing. Like I said, I'm gonna keep practicing, see if I can get better at it and it might make things a bit easier. You'll have to let me know. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the episode, what you thought of the tree. Do you guys like this kind of grindier, like behind the scenes stuff with like doing the chores in the basement and stuff like that? I hope it wasn't too boring for you. I did want to include like the tree, you know, kind of in the background. That's why I decided to light Matica. Actually, I thought, you know what? If I can figure that out, maybe I could actually build that real super quick and it won't take me long and I could still get this episode out super quick because I did all the boring chores and I was like, no, they don't want to just watch you do like cleaning your basement stuff. They want to see you build something cool. So that's why, that's why I did that. So let me know down in the comments, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a like on the episode if you're still here and consider subscribing if you're not already. And I will see you guys next time.